What's happening people? Back in the kitchen again today and we are continuing with curry week. Last time out I did the chicken boner and it was fantastic. A little bit spicy for my taste, however it was delicious and it got more and more um, tasty as the more I ate to be honest after after filming had stopped and I finished it. It was it was it was all right, and it currently sits top of the leaderboard with an eight out of ten. What a start that is! So, regular viewers of the channel will know that I my favourite curries is chicken tikka masala and butter chicken. They're my two go-to curries because I'm a, I'm a wuss when it comes to spice, aren't I? We all know this. I'm a wuss. Don't worry, I'm not bothered. That being said, today we've got two chili ratings. Remember, the boona was four. We are doing. The creamy butter chicken and it's new improved recipe. And remember, it's five for five pound. Hopefully, when these go out, it's still five for five pound. Otherwise, these videos are going to be a little, little bit. Um, well, they'll be two pound seventy five then. So usually they're two pound seventy five, and currently Iceland have got a deal where it's called Curry Week and it's five for five pound. There's five curries to choose from, and that's what I'm doing here. So if you're new around here, hit that subscribe so you don't miss any uploads. Click the notification bell and uh, subscribing is free, remember. So let's um, let's take a closer look at the pack. So here is the box. 375 grams, so it's the same weight as the Buna, same size, creamy butter chicken. The serving suggestion is just that on its own. It's a two chili rating, so the Buna was four. I'll be honest, it was a bit spicy. So ingredients, I'll have to do this again and turn this light off every time. So marinated cooked chicken, 28%. I think that's a little bit more than the boona. I think, if I remember rightly, the boona was 24%. I might be wrong. I'll have to go back and check. Um, chicken breast, 92%. So you've got milk as the allergen in this one. Just milk. So there we go. Low fat yogurt powder, rice bran oil. So there's a bit of spiel there. It says pieces of cooked tikka, marinated chicken breast in a rich creamy tomato and butter curry sauce. Sounds like a bit of me, this. So there's a nutritional information for you guys that know what you're talking about nutritionally. I am not one of them guys. 227.2 um, grams of protein. Per pack microwave and 445 calories. There we go. So, in the interest of fairness, and they're the way to cook, I am going to be microwaving this just like I did with the Buna. So, it's the same sort of, uh, well, it's exactly the same instructions, really. Five minutes, stir the fill, stir up, and then replace. So it's the same sort of, it's exactly the same cooking method. Cook it for five minutes, stir, replace the film lid and cook for a further three minutes. Stand for one minute before serving. We're not going to do it in the oven, we're going to do all five in the microwave. Because convenience is key with these for a one pound. And that's it. Same mould, same mould. You can't really see much because of the, um, the frozenness. But we'll pierce that. Get in the microwave and we'll bring it back when it's time to stir it up and we can have a look at it. So that's five minutes. Let's have a look at the peel. It looks lighter than a normal butter chicken. No, I'm a little bit redder than this, I thought. Same as the boona, it's a bit watery right now, but it does look like there's plenty of chicken in this as well. There were absolutely loads of chicken in that butter chicken, uh, that boona. This is smelling, I mean a butter chicken is basically a tikka masala isn't it? It smells identical, it's just a little less red, a little bit more creamy. So take a look at this. It looks really nice and I'm not lying guys, 
it smells amazing so three and a half more minutes and then we'll get it in that bowl so it's nearly ready now just enough time for me to let you know that subscribing to this channel is totally free so if you haven't done it already hit that subscribe now and the notify bell will let you know when i upload videos which is every day so it's taste time okay quickly before we have a taste hit that like if you like this video hit the dislike if you don't don't hit the dislike so it is ready this has sunk it into it a little bit but oh that's on the outside let's go this way put some oil on the outside there so we don't want to lose that because it is flavor okay look at that wow you can see that oil in there give it another little bit of a mix up it, is, it looks so creamy and it does actually call itself a creamy butter chicken not just butter chicken oh wow okay let's get it in here To be honest it looks very 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 light in color compared to what i'm used to for the butter chicken it looks more on the calmer end oops on the calmer end than the um tikka masala end i hope it doesn't taste more on the calmer end we do have a calmer in this curry range but we're gonna have to try there we go Okay, let's uh, let's have a taste. So here we go. Then it is taste time, and it smells quite nice. But on looks alone, it does look a bit more calmer like than um, than tikka masala like. It's on the lower end of the scale, I would say. So I don't expect this. It does have a two spice rating though. I think the calmer. In this range is a one spice. I'm gonna go straight in for the sauce. Oh wow, that is the creamiest curry I've ever tasted. I can tell you that after one spoonful, that were like eating cream, a little bit of spice cream. That is so creamy. It's delicious, but it's very creamy. I've not really, normally, with the curry, you get all the spices in the sauce. I feel like that this is, the chicken in this is marinated previous, prior to going into the curry, because it's chicken tikka. So we'll give the chicken a go and see if that's where the, the flavor is. Yeah, them pieces, Iceland chicken in their curries is fantastic. It's always spot on, cracking, unreal. And it is, it is there, even though it's been marinated prior to going in this one. This chicken tikka, that's where the tikka comes in. So the sauce is a bit milder. It's a bit, and it's very, very creamy. Uh, but it is a nice, you can really taste them, that butter and that onions. And the, you can taste the cream. They've got like fresh cream in it. It's really, but when you hit that chicken, that's where you get your, your not more standard tikka flavor. Really nice. Mm. Mm. The chicken in these curries. The sauce is it's delicious but the chicken is the best part of this mm. oh 
Okay. I think I know where I'm at with it. Just check out and spill anything down my top. That is fantastic. It's not the butter chicken that I know. Sometimes we get the um, pataks, you know, the tins. We get tikka masala, and if you haven't got tikka masala, we get butter chicken, and they're very, very similar. And that's where my my love for butter chicken has come from because it's so similar to the tikka masala. But this is not that sauce is totally different from like the pataks sauce. It's nice. It's a different taste and it's a different texture. It's not like a curry sauce. It's like it's like proper creamy. This it's what I would associate with more like korma like style sauce because korma is like coconut cream, I believe. I'm going to be trying that probably tomorrow now. But um, this, it's like, yeah. But then when you hit that chicken, that's where the tikka comes in in this dish. So this is really, really nice. And it's really flavorful. But I feel like the boona had more flavor as a, as a whole. The chicken in this is better because it was just plain chicken in the boona. The sauce created the curry. This, the um, the sauce is nice, but the chicken is the nicest part, the chicken tikka. So I'm just, and I'm saying really, really just, going to go in at 7.9 for this. So it's just under the boner in second place. Can anything beat that boner? I was not expecting me to like that boner as much as I did yesterday, but with it being a four chilli rating. So... This is unfortunately, I wasn't expecting this to be above it, I'll be honest. I had preconceived ideas. I thought, I like butter chicken, I like tikka masala, and they're going to be tens, and all the rest are going to be nothing. This, just under. 7.9, really close. I could eat this, and I'm going to eat this. I could eat it all day. But, the boner is winning for now as a curry as a whole. If it was just based on the chicken, this would be in front, but it's not. It's the dish as a whole. So that's it. Boner is still top. This is the current leaderboard. And uh, make sure you hit that notify bell and hit subscribe so you don't miss the next three curry days. And then we'll fill this league, this, uh, league table up and see who wins. Take care. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.